after, uh, <laughs> hi everyone, good afternoon. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and today, for today's Tinker Tuesday, we are going to do some plant um, smashing or plant printing. Uh, so I have gone and collected some, um, some flowers um, around my yard and some leaves. So I have some yellow flowers, little yellow ones. Uh, I have a Sweet Williams, which are so pretty. I have a couple of um, Johnny Jump Ups, some Coleus, some um, Chamomile. There is another Johnny Jump Up. Here's some Grape Hyacinth. And uh, here is a lupin leaf. So we did some printing last year where we painted. Uh, but this time we are gonna smash this <laughs> and use the colors that are in the, um, in the stuff, uh, in the plant themselves. In, um, so the chlorophyll and um, the plant coloration that are in it so I'm just putting these all around and there's definitely some little no bugs which of course are all over this is also a little yellow flower I'm not sure what it's called but super pretty some strawberry leaves whoops spider um, there's another there's another violet I want to get these little little yellow petals okay all right so then what I'm gonna do is so I have them all watercolor paper works best but go figure uh, I think I've used up my watercolor paper I cannot find it so this is just a good quality um, heavy drawing paper um, uh, like a, a, a heavy drawing stock uh, and, and these are just uh, regular paper towels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the paper towels down on here like that to kind of press. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hammer and I'm going to press and kind of smash. And it's going to start making, ooh, that one definitely has a lot. I think that's a great hyacinth. You can see the purple color. This is, ooh, little bitty color. Okay, so I'm just hammering. Color. 
colors to come on to the paper. And we'll see how well this does. You can see them through. Well, you can see them through the paper towels. So see, you can see it through the paper towels. And I'm hoping that it is coming through to the paper. I really want to don't do this directly on your table. <laughs> Obviously, I have a piece of wood and it is loud and noisy. But I'm hoping that this will have Ooh. Well, yeah, they definitely came up some, some, some came, some are wetter than others. It's definitely an experiment with different flowers. That was chamomile. Um, let's see, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do a little... Smush, smush. Yeah, a little bit. And then this one, definitely. That was a grape hyacinth. And that had a lot of parts to the flower. Yeah. Seeds. There are a lot. That's a lot of flour that I want to peel off. So you can see that some definitely did better than others. Okay, so it's an experiment for sure. And definitely flowers that have more, um, more to them uh, let's see if I can do a little bit more of the Sweet Williams. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do a little bit more. Let's see if I can get a little more color. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely has more color. But you can see that the prints and the, the paper takes the color from the flowers and the green from the plants and the red um, from this weed. Um, that actually did really well. I really like that. I might go get some more of that. Um, but this would make a pretty postcard or um, uh, like frame, you could do just a, a gift card or whatever, or just experiment and see um, darker colors are going to work better. Do some experimenting. Uh, obviously, white on white, uh, you could try different kinds of paper. So uh, definitely want a thick paper. This, even though it is good, heavy drawing paper, I think it would have taken on the color and the, um, the moisture better if it had been um, a uh, a watercolor paper, um, but it certainly did take on the color from the flowers. That's the that's the um, Sweet Williams, and that was um, some of the leaves. So you can even see the green. Thicker uh, thicker leaves are going to print better. Uh, they're going to have their color better. Um, so make an experiment of this. See what kinds of plants you can use and what kind of textures and colors that you get from the chlorophyll and the coloration and the um, water content and everything um, right inside the actual plant. There is no ink involved. It is just what is produced by nature and I just hammered it out. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, idea and I love this and I hope you try this at home. 
experimenting uh, is a great thing and you never know what is going to happen. So try this at home. Hugs. Happy tinkering. Miss Amy.